What about you? Today's video, something completely different. I'm over in Rome doing a video with Milwaukee Tools UK to find out all about their new gardening range. Let's go. Some novelties for you here today. One of the main ones I want to show you today is our 46 walk behind mower. It's the newest edition which is, has been heavily requested by your market so we're very happy to announce that as of January next year it will be available to you. And obviously we have many key features that set us apart from our competitors. So Cameron will now start to then talk about one of the arguably most important features that differentiate our mowers from the competition. Thank you Stephen. So today I'm going to go over the 46 centimeter steel deck and how it affects cut quality. If cut quality is poor, this can lead to grass clumping together, being laid back on the lawn, damaging the grass. This is not only, of course, damaging to the grass, but can cause the end user to spend more time going over the same sections of grass to achieve the desired result. How we counter this is we have a smooth steel deck on the inside so there's no obstructions to disrupt the airflow. As you can see with our competitor there are air pockets and bumps which of course lead to the clumping issue. They do try and counteract this by adding an extra blade. As you can see we only require the one. So I will show you a quick demo over this other side. So as you can see here, we have a mower that has 2,400 watts. That's 11 Newton, which really makes it an extremely powerful mower. And we want to show you this by doing a very extreme application. So we'll be cutting into high grass on the lowest stack height simulating really these tough applications that you might encounter and let's have a look how our competitive fares. My name's Jack and today I've got the privilege of taking you through the features and benefits of the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Brush Cutter. And that's why the first thing that you'll notice is the bike handle design. Now this is the solution of choice for most professional users in the, in the EU as it provides the optimum balance between control and stability. Also included is a lightweight double shoulder harness which features a flexible and robust back with comfortable shoulder straps which can be adjusted to the user's need. With the trimmer line attached, a runtime of up to one hour is achievable. And that still runs an RPM of 4,900. So that means it's more than sufficient for most uh, applications. However, for those tricky, stubborn, thick patches of grass or weeds, the user can bump it up to the high speed mode that runs an RPM of 6,200. So to demonstrate this, I have with me here a series of wooden dowels of varying diameters. So let's see how much power this thing really has. With the exploding dowels, I was easily able to pass through with ease, making light work of them. And that brings me on to my final point, which is the ability to deliver best-in-class um, throttle response. And the maximum RPM can be achieved in under one second. Now this is largely due to the sensitive dual speed trigger, which as I mentioned earlier, provides instant throttle response in under one second. 
This allows the user to swiftly transition between idle and full throttle, which is particularly useful when trimming around objects such as benches. And uh, would you look at that? I actually have a bench with me here. So as you can see, I was swiftly able to reach the maximum RPM with no delay at all. So to further demonstrate this, we actually have here one of the leading competitors in the Steel FSA 90. I really want you to listen out for the time it takes to ramp up to the full speed. So as you can hear there, there was a slight delay in reaching the maximum RPM. Now over a full working day, this would be very noticeable noticeable for the end user. However, with the Milwaukee, as I mentioned, the throttle response is instant, allowing the user to get the work done much quicker. Four new quick lock attachments. Can't believe they gave this line to a Swede, but I'll try it. This is the M18 fuel quick lock cultivator tiller attachment. I did it. It's <laughs> It's equipped with a 22 centimeter bowl of tines angle and has the ability to reach full power in under one second. That will really help you in the beginning of the season when you're doing your bed creation to really cut through the grass and into the hard soil. Quite narrow, only 22 centimeters. That will help you with the maneuverability and also to get into those tight places so you don't damage the flower beds or other decorations in the garden. And at Milwaukee our mission is to cater to every application and professional end user within the chains of domain. Whether these are ground-based tasks, elevated work or even tree climbing scenarios, we aim to equip our main end users for chainsaws such as forestry, arborists, garden landscapers, municipalities, fruit growers with products that are highly productive and efficient. The M18 Fuel Telescopic Cold Saw, a tool designed to elevate your cutting experiences to new heights, and I mean that quite literally. This is a true replacement tool for petrol, as when it comes to speed of cut, it's able to outperform leading petrol cold saws here on the market. Three, two, one. Two, one. Okay, so when choosing chainsaws in the past, they always had to make a compromise between battery and petrol chainsaws. Petrols were the only ones that actually used to have the performance and the power that we need on a day to day basis as an arborist. Now we've got the battery saws, that isn't the case. They've now got the power and don't come with the problems of a petrol chainsaw, like constant starting and stopping the pull start, shoulder and elbow fatigue, all the noise, the fumes and the heat and built up spaces. You don't get that with the battery saws. It's a much quieter, safer and just a calmer environment to work in. So now on a day-to-day -day basis, we find ourselves taking the battery saws over the petrol chainsaws. 1.1 millimeter chain pitch, an automatic oiler and a branch hook to bring out the branches after you cut them. The tool has a square profile and an easy adjustment color means you can adjust the length from 2.7 up to 4 meter. For best use of comfort we have included a shoulder strap, this is also included in the kit and a variable speed trigger gives the user the full control over the entire power curve while it's also having full throttle in under one second. As we know it from the Milwaukee tool, we also have an onboard scrunch storage, so to tighten the chain, the key is always on the tool. Let's come to our next and nearest launch, the M18 Fuel Top Panel Chainsaw. Good to go? Yep. Three, two, one. as 
a product manager for Milwaukee's personal protective equipment category. And today I have the honor of talking to you about our Bolt 200 helmet. So our Bolt 200 helmet has a dual standard certification. It has the EN397 that protects ground level workers from top impacts, as well as the EN12492 that safeguards individuals working at various heights from impacts from all angles, the front, back, and both sides. The Bolt 200 is manufactured in our very own factory, which is located in Wisconsin, USA. Here, we invested over $12 million in advanced machinery for best-in-class production as well as customization options. So as you look around the PPE industry, you'll see that the most commonly found material in helmets is ABS. However, when looking at extreme sports such as American football and ice hockey, we found they're not using ABS, they're using Lexon, one of the highest grades of polycarbonates on the market. At Milwaukee, our keen focus being safety, of course, made it a very easy choice to choose Lexon when manufacturing our helmets. So in this drop test, we're first going to be dropping the weight onto our competitor ABS, and then of course onto our very own uh, Lexon material. Starting out, we have a cast helmet, which is made out of the ABS material. All right, ready? One, two, three. So as you can see, the ABS material did not uh, survive the drop test. So now, let's try it with the bolt to 200. You wanna give this one a go on us? I'll try it. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Nice try. So, drop test with no problems. The reason for this is due to its extended durability and elasticity, which is 40% higher than the competitor ABS. The Lexon material has an ability to expand and return to its original shape without being permanently deformed. So, the extreme comfort doesn't mean a whole lot if you cannot wear the helmet comfortably all day. So, we put a great deal of thought into the design of the Bolt 200 to make sure that it stays comfortable and fresh and clean over long periods of use. So to do so, we firstly added padded, breathable crown liner and sweatband. They can easily be removed, washed and changed so your helmet stays fresh and clean over long periods of time. On the back, we have a 4.5 centimeter wide ratchet knob. This makes it very easy to adjust the size, even when wearing gloves. The ratchet knob is movable up and down, so you can place it under your occipital bone for a perfect, secure fit. And the size range is 52 to 68 centimeters. This is the largest size range on the market, allowing us to cater to all head sizes. My name is Matthias Kutz and I am the product manager for transportation power tools in Europe. And here in this area, everything revolves around the repair and maintenance of agricultural machinery, like for example, this tractor here. And at Milwaukee, we offer mechanics everything they need to get the job done. So for example, for the loosening and fastening of larger bolts, we have here our impact wrenches from small and compact to big and really powerful. Every mechanic will find the perfect solution here. And for the fastening and loosening of smaller bolts, we have our M12 ratchet family here. This ratchet unique is the ability to work in very tight areas. We have developed specific impact sockets that are specifically for this ratchet. And by inserting the impact sockets directly here into the 14.4 millimeter hex tool reception, like this, we have created a very slim tool head. And when we do a side-by-side -side comparison with a conventional ratchet from our competitor, you can see that we are a lot more compact here. To do it like this by hand and this is not really comfortable, right? So with our new ratchet, this is a lot easier. Let me quickly demonstrate it. Because the bolt will go So as you can see, this is a lot better, I would say, than doing it by hand. The scope of delivery also includes normal sockets from 16 to 19 and 21 millimeters. And we also have different adapters. We have a quarter inch adapter, three eight inch adapter, a half inch adapter is available as an accessory as well. And we also have here a 
quarter inch hex bit holder. So this really makes it the most versatile ratchet on the market right now. Now what you want to do is you want to do a comparison in terms of power our ratchet versus the ratchet of our competitor. To do so we have here several bolts and I will try to unfasten them. First trying it with the D-bolt. As we can see the battery is fully charged so we have full power. So I would say let's see if D-bolt is up here if D-bolt gets the job done. Okay here nothing happens. Let's try it here. Also doesn't seem to have enough power maybe one more time. Nothing happens. So I would say let's try it with our Milwaukee Ratchet. Maybe I'm more lucky here. Perfect, that works a lot better, right? Let's try it here one more time. Works as well. And now here. Perfect. So as you can see, we offer mechanics a ratchet that gets the job done as it offers a lot more power for these kind of applications. So to summarize, it's really our new number one ratchet here, thanks to its power, speed, the accessibility and the versatility due to our different adapters and sockets. As I said, my name is Jacob, I'm a German JSS and I will present you our newest edition in our grinder family. We already had two die grinders from our 12 volt platform and we had one die grinder on our M18 platform. This one has had a fixed speed of 27,000 RPM. The problem is a lot of accessories you can't drive with 2,700 RPM. The tool, the M18 braking die grinder, with a variable speed function. We can adjust the speed here from 8 to 20,000 RPM with on this bottom here in five steps. My name is Conilla and I'm working as a JSS in Norway. And today I'll introduce you to our M18 air compressor. It is a useful tool both in the workshop and while working out in the field, like for example when a tractor has broken down and needs to be repaired. Historically, only noisy, pollutioning and heavy emergency generators could be used, but now with our innovative battery solution, we've taken it to the next level. So dragging old school generators around to and from where they are needed is a thing of the past. And the following features of this M18 air compressor just adds to the adapt adaptability and ease of use for the end user. So first of all, it has a maximum air pressure of 9.31 bars and delivers 48 liters a minute at 2.8 bars. Additionally, it's running on only 68 decibel, which makes this one of the quietest cordless compressors on the market. So just listen. This chainsaw we have used through cutting through wood and here we have a mixture of wood chips and oil and then I will try to blow it away with our compressor. And as you can see it has more than enough power to make these chips fly. Build carrying handles and it has a low weight of only 14 kilograms. Does anybody want to try holding? See how lightweight it is? Who's volunteering? You. See? Not that heavy. Pretty good. Good. And to reach the desired pressure level, that's no problem. With our single turn regulator, as well, this quick connect coupler provides increased productivity as the end user can just quickly connect and disconnect the hose. So then, to summarize, our compressor is superseding petrol and gas competitors with its zero gas emission, its low noise and its portability. This Milwaukee M18 air compressor does it all.
My name is Vera and I'm a Junior Marketing Product Manager for the Gulf region here at Milwaukee. Today I'd like to introduce to you a tool that is perfect for inflating tires on small to medium sized agricultural machines quickly and safely. Our M18 Inflator. This tool is characterized mainly by three features. Fill speed, accuracy and capacity. First, let's talk about fill speed. Mechanics that maintain agricultural machines need a rapid fill speed in order to increase their productivity and prevent downtime. Users can exactly do that with our M18 Inflator, as it is capable of fully inflating a Mercedes Sprinter tire in under only one minute. Another very important criterion for our M18 Inflator is the accuracy. Users need accuracy in order to meet the manufacturer's recommended bar values. So Milwaukee invented a feature, the so-called True Fill technology. It allows users to set their preferred bar level at any bar <laughs> and let the tool do the work as an automatic shutter function stops the tool from overinflation. The last very important criterion for our M18 inflator is the capacity. Users can inflate for up to 20 minutes without the need to stop the tool as an internal cooling fan prevents and protects the tool from overheating, even in extended use during the whole workday. But in order to show you the performance of our M18 inflator, we will have an inflator race. Ours were this Devas 18 volt inflator. Ours with both tires. With our memory function of our M18 inflator, it is very easy for users to set their preferred bar levels and memorize it. So you can save for up, up to four uh, bar levels, so it eases up the work during the day. With our competitor, you have to always do it manually every single time you want to inflate a tire. So that really makes the work harder. So as you can see, we're gonna, I memorized the two bar we want to reach at memory two. Are you ready? Yes. So let's see how they compare. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Our Milwaukee inflator did the job much faster. How much bar did we reach in the Deval? 1.79. 1.79. So we can see that our inflator is twice as fast as our competitor. And the tire is inflated way faster. And this is a productivity boost that Milwaukee users have come to expect from a Milwaukee product. So in summary, we can say that our inflator meets the requirements of fill speed, accuracy, and capacity that users need in their day-to-day -day activity to work and allowing our M18 inflator to confidently sit at number one in this market. As you might know, Milwaukee is a full solution provider and we therefore offer the perfect way for you to store every tool presented and more. So this is our pack-out shop storage system and as you can see, it is massive. And that leads us already to our first advantage. It's very scalable. For example, our end users can start off with only two mounting plates and say four hooks, and over time expand until their system is fully organized. So we have a compact one and an Excel one. And they are both made out of impact resistant material and holds weight up to 23 kilograms and 68 kilograms. You can see them mounted here on the wall. We have compact ones here, and then we have an Excel one here, for example. So three of this equals to the size of one Excel, and it fits perfectly together. So if you just turn over the switch, and then we'll plug in the back. So put it on the wall, turn over the switch, and the hook is secured. And then to fulfill the range, I'm excited to present our packout cabinet can be fully integrated into the packout system, either by having it on the wall with up to 22 kilograms of tools inside, or you can have it under or above other packout boxes and still. You can just open a door and quickly and easily grab your tools inside without removing the box above. So then as you can see, the packout shop storage system it's a perfect way for our end users, end users to fully customize and organize their workspaces. Our M12 philosophy aims to upgrade traditional heavy manual tasks, but 
without sacrificing the portability and ergonomics to deliver the performance our users demand. I'm therefore proud to introduce you our new M12 brushless pruning shear. A great replacement for manual hand tools such as a handheld pruner or even the double handheld locker. These cordless shears are highly suited for the professional landscaper who needs to use them occasionally out on the job site. Three main points make this machine stand out from the crowd. The first one is fast pruning speed. This tool comes with an impressive feature, the mode select board, which gives you the ability to lock the blades into half capacity, specifically 16 mm. Simply switch to this mode when you need to power through your task quickly as it gives you an increased cut speed, perfect for those times when efficiency is paramount. That means also that we are effi can efficiently deal here with applications that are made for smaller hand pruners such as the Falco here. The additional on-off switch also ensures that the user doesn't set up the tool during transportation and the long head design is ideally suited for working in challenging positionings or when the main material is obstructed by thorns. The third main point is reduced user's fatigue. However, the most vital aspect is reduced user's fatigue. We understand that extended applications, especially with thicker branches, are physically demanding. That's why we have created this tool with the power to cut up to 33 mm hardwood, providing a seamless and convenient experience. And to demonstrate this tool, let's now compare our tool against the Falco one and also the Lopper. Three, two, one, go. You're already ready? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> As you can see, our tool cuts through with no manual effort at all. As you have also seen, the Falco one failed, especially when it comes to thicker branches. And we managed to do the application with the lopper. But as you have seen, we need a lot of space and it's still combined with a lot of manual effort to cut through these six diameters throughout the day. When it comes now to battery life, our M12 truly shines, as it comes with an M12 2M battery which gives you the ability to do more than 1,000 cuts in 1.25 cm material. This keeps you productive throughout the whole day and keeps up with your demanding workload. For this tool, there's also a holster available as an accessory for the easy transportation. <laughs> to achieve clean cuts rather than just brushing it, it's important to cut diagonally. This has the impact that the water can flow out of the branch and will not stick there, which will your branch prepare against mold. Now, when it comes to tougher pruning applications, we have the M12 hatchet in our range. An extremely powerful and confident tool, which we have already launched two years ago and who still stand out as unrivet in the market. A great replacement for manual hand saws, which has a slow cut speed and cause user fatigue. As you have either seen or will see its bigger brother, the M18 hatchet, I will not go so much into the feature set here, because they are very similar aside of the fact that the bigger brother is an 18 volt battery and here we have a bar length of 15 cm. This tool is also equipped with our brushless power state motor and a variable speed trigger and has the power to cut up to 75 mm hardwood. And to demonstrate this to you, let's now compare our tool against the competitor model from Steel. Obviously there are also 
also other cordless solutions on the market, as the Celco, for example. As you can see, Celco also managed to do the cut. What we really truly differentiate ourselves is in the aspect of versatility. As you know, one size doesn't fit all, especially when it comes to pruning or trimming in hard to reach areas. That's why our tools comes with an innovative telescopic function. By simply opening the collar, you can effortlessly expand the tool from 2.1 to an impressive 3 meter pipe. As you can see, with the fixed shaft solution of the competition, not only do I have to change the shaft to access the branches that are higher up, but could be necessary to find an entirely new solution, which means you are waste time. Now, two more features about our tool. The first one is the retractable branch hook. You can utilize it to pull down the branches that get stuck, or by simply pushing this button, it becomes perfect for accessing tight spots. And of course, the outer shaft jacket offers you an increased control and a very good grip. Now, you already seen the extraordinary power of cut. Our tools allows you to cut up to four centimeters soft wood without any worry of bogging down or jump. And when it comes for the runtime, because we understand the importance of uninterrupted work, with our M18 5.5 high optus battery pack, you can make up to 2,000 cuts on a single charge. And what you see now is the new double sharpen blade. It comes with all the benefits of the double sharpen blade. Yes, we keep everything what is necessary. We have the tip protector in front. Of course, when I cut hatches for a longer time, it comes the moment I get a bit tired and I stick with the blade on the ground. And it's always the risk the blade takes up some soil, some sand, another material which could harm the blade. So the tip protector here prevents us from this. We see also the safety element on top of the blade, which is longer than the cutting hatches for a simple reason. When I wipe down the hatch, it's always the risk. I hit my leg and so I'm also safe there. Going further, we see the large front shield which allows us to go deep into the hatch and my hand is still secured behind the shield. The bail handle with the security trigger is obvious. We have seen the power of the tool combined with the 20 millimeter cutting capacity. We can here do all the cuts we need. To extend the lifetime, we included here also a full metal gear case and important with the 8 amp battery, we have a runtime with more than two hours. Here's to you another innovation in our hatch trimming range. We already have some solutions like our small M12 straps here, and of course, for our um, quick lock system, our att attachment, which you can reach up a height of 3.1 meter using our extensions. That's where we saw a gap. There's nothing in between. And here's our solution, the short shaft hatch trimming attachment. It's great for cutting overgrowth or doing just your job very fast, clean and controlled. It comes with a great feature set as it is a 51 centimeter blade set, which is protected with the, the tip guard. We have a 2.5 centimeter cut capacity and a double sharpened blade as well. Speaking about cutting hatches can be really tiring over an entire day. That's why we focus on balance. As you can see, the tool is perfectly balanced. And for protecting your hands, using all your power over working with it, we installed a protection shield.
our reversible 50 centimeters plate compactor. And yes, you've heard right, in the 80 kilogram class, our plate compactor is the first and the only plate compactor that is reversible. So now, taking a look at the user interface, you can here see our forward and reverse mode, as well as a slow and a fast gear. And with that fast gear, the blade compactor is as well the fastest blade compactor of that class. Now, let's take a look on how the combination of speed and reverse mode helps us to outperform the traditional competitor on the market. Our circular saw here, so this is our M18 FCS66. Now with one fully charged battery on there, that's the 12 amp hour M18 battery pack, we can cut over 750 cuts in the 90 by 40, 45 millimeter wood, what we've got here. So 750 cuts is a very impressive runtime with just one battery. Now we're talking about fixing these materials together. And this is where I want to highlight our framing nailer. This is the M18 FFN. And we can shoot up to 90 millimeter nails in this one, ring shank. Um, with one fully charged 5 amp hour battery pack, we can shoot over 700 nails here. It can become quite tricky sometimes because you need three hands to install this. So what I mean by that is one hand needs to keep the tension on the wire and the other two hands is got to use the tool. So it can become a little bit fumbly, sometimes it slips off your leg and um, you might not get the, uh, the perfect crimp here is what we call the perfect pre press on the swage. So this is where I want to highlight another tool that's in our lineup. It's not directly a carpentry product, but it is a press tool that I'm starting to see on the job sites. People are using these for such installations. The reason being is it's very simple to use. You can do it all in one hand, tension the wire, put the tool over it, and then start the cycle. So it's basically like this. Very quick and easy and effortlessly, and you can move on to your next wires. So with our nailers, circ saws, and miter saws, we can build a deck that is 10 times larger than the one I've got here. So this is a 16 square meter decking. With those run times and one battery on those tools, you can go up to 160 square meters of decking there. So it's a very impressive run time. And um, it's not just about those power tools as well. You're going to need a lot more than that. You're going to need some of our hand tools. And I just want to enforce that we offer a very wide and extensive range of hand tools from squares to chisels to hammers to to levels as well, we've got tapes, we've also got the PPE. Now this is something that's very important on any job site is our PPE. Hi, my name's Adam. I work for a company called My Hinterland. I'd just like to run through a few of the features of the Milwaukee M18 fencing stapler, which for me put it ahead of the competition. So I've been using the fencing stapler now for around 18 months and it has a number of features which I think put it ahead of the crowd. Firstly on top here, you have the ability to get into the firing mechanism without the need for additional tools. This is incredibly convenient when it comes to maintenance, greasing, clearing any jams or debris that might have built up through the working day. Loading the stapler is very simple, click and you're ready to go. Power on the staple and you're ready. You can adjust the depth setting there which is incredibly useful when working for a range of hard and softwood materials and it fires consistently throughout the day. The 3 amp hour battery is good for 600 shots and the uh, tool itself will go for 80,000 staples before recharge as it doesn't have the additional consumable of gas. This is really handy, again, uh, business owner, we're spending a lot of money, a lot of investment in tools, so extending the lifetime of the tools is really, really important. Um, having this in the vehicles means the guys can blow away any dust, dirt, mud, moisture at the end of the day. Uh, which is extending the life of the tools and it's also good for our um, biosecurity measures uh, say removing that soil, seeds, clearing air filters, blowing off tractors, diggers, all of that sort of thing. Um, again, it's just another level of security that we can use to market ourselves ahead of the competition. Right, now Robbie has asked me to have a look at this tool and just tell you a little bit about it because it's a, it's a tool that's been on the market for a long time and it's impressed me and it's impressed him. So I'm going to give you a demonstration because these great big drill bits here that you can use for fence posts to be able to put in your hangings can be done with this. This is their biggest impact they make with that connection. Love it. Right. Are you ready, Robbie? Go for it. What a weapon! Milwaukee Backpack Blower. 
Es ist ein Full Throttle in under one second. The Milwaukee Backpack Blower delivers impressive 18.4 cubic meters of air volume per minute on a staggering speed of 249 kilometers per hour. And you can see, no time to wait that the tool ramps up to start the task. On top, the third feature is the engineered a backpack verb and backpack blower with the most comfort and easy of use that, we are that is making the breeze to work with that tool over the complete day. You see here on site a vertical hook to store the nozzle or here that you can move it easily away. In total full throttle in under one second. We come up with the first Milwaukee tool that includes up to four battery slots giving you the option to increase the runtime. But if you want it more lightweight and more comfortable you can use the tool operates on two batteries. I would like to highlight from the very beginning that this is an oscillating tool. This is not a rotational one. As you can see, it's not rotates. And this is a tool created for professional users who are working with gardening and landscaping work. The certificator excels in removing plants from hard surfaces along curbs, around concrete blocks, under the fences, and many more. Equipped with oscillating displays featuring low rotational energy, this reciprocator can easily cut tough grass and small bushes. Operator can cut the grass on a very low level and he can be very precise. Because of the cordless design, all the streaming process is very silent and mobile. It has uh, three main features. The first one is power, the second one is safety and the third one is versatility. Let's talk about power. As you already heard several times, this tool is not an exception. And if I'm pressing the trigger, I guess I'm uh, having a full throttle in less than in one second. So it means that the operator will do its tasks without, uh, without pauses uh, by the tool itself. The second uh, thing is that this tool is equipped with two oscillating disc blades which are 23 cm in the diameter. So it means that with the capacity of 1.25 cm, uh, you will be able to do almost every trimming job what you want to do. The second thing is uh, safety. So uh, the most important thing is that you will cut the grass with this tool. There will be no flying debris, no flying rocks all around. Third of its generation, professionals are using these for those click a quick routine cleanups, but also professionals and other trades to clean up the job site. We have two standout key features. We've got constant blowing force and a full throttle in under a second. We manage to increase the power, but also keep making it quieter at the same time. What we also did is integrate the features that the dual battery blow already has into this one. But let's deep dive into the features. We have 10% more power, meaning we've got 12.2 Newton of constant air force. That means we've got the ability to remove any leaves or debris at a breathtaking 14.2 cubic meters per minute of air volume and 193 kilometers an hour while the battery is depleting. And thanks to our power state brushless motor and our Red Link Plus intelligence, we've got instantaneous throttle response in 0.6 seconds. That is boosting our productivity with next to no ramp up time and saving the obvious of course with the petrol blower you always have to pull start and every time you need the blower. When we're talking about residential areas, we've got hospitals or hotels like these where gardeners are always cleaning up early in the morning. You don't want to be disturbed, you want to continue sleeping. So noise is a very key important feature. We've got a decibel reader right here and we're gonna measure the noise between the third generation and the second. Where's the third? Anyone? I guess you all heard the difference even if you didn't even have to see it. But yeah, so 10, 10 decibels make a lot of difference. We perceive that as double as loud. And especially the hotel guests are gonna thank the coordinators if they're using a quieter blower. Another feature which is very important, especially when you're working over long periods of time, is weight. I've got a weight test. I'm using a competitor. Similar performance. I'm going to use an electrical scale to measure the weight. Do 
3.4. That is more than a kilo different. And it makes a big difference for me. I'm not sure about you guys. But especially when you're working over longer periods of time, you're gonna feel that difference. So, and also we are still working with our M18 platform and our competitor has to resort to 36 volts. Another feature that I said in the beginning is that we managed to integrate the features from the dual battery blower into the single battery blower, meaning that we've got the variable speed locker for precise applications. That allows you to optimize the runtime as well. And we've got the interchangeable nozzle attachments, which work with all of the blowers that we have for precise blowing patterns. We have 13 minutes of runtime on an 8 amp battery. If you want a longer runtime, we've got those 12 amp batteries reaching 19 minutes of runtime. But keep in mind that's at full speed. So if you reduce the speed, you're going to have a longer runtime. Summarizing the single battery blower third generation, we have we have managed to offer more power, making it quieter, integrating the features of the dual battery blower, and at the same time, making it a lightweight tool. With its compact design, this blower attachment excels at cleaning at tight corners and hard to reach area, effortlessly reaching under overhangs and other obstacles to clear material effectively. Its versatility is further enhanced by having both flat and tapered nozzles attachment. Experience the power and speed of this blower, as it has an impressive air volume at 14 cubic meters per, per minute and a speed of 193 km per hour. This blower achieves, as our other blowers, full throttle under just one second. To so say goodbye to waiting for a tool to wrap up, simply engage it and get to work immediately, boosting your efficiency and productivity. My name is Kim and I'm the product manager responsible for technologies in batteries, chargers and power systems which I'm excited to speak about today. We'll focus on these technologies, our Milwaukee systems and give you live demonstrations of our tools directly up against other leading OPE competitors <coughs> such as Husqvarna or Steel. 2008, 15 years ago, our first 18 volt lithium ion battery. If anybody still has this battery pack at home, you can use it for all our M18 tools that we have today. So, backwards compatible since 2008. 2011, our first M18 red lithium battery pack, which since that time has acquired reputation for fade-free performance in extreme conditions. In the past 15 years, we have continuously increased the performance and capabilities of our batteries and therefore also of our tools. We got 5.5 on my left and then we're using a 5 amp on the right. What we're gonna do, this is a simulation of just one single cut in 30 centimeters of oak. So this is a really heavy duty application going on then. You can see the numbers underneath. Those are gonna show you the RPMs so we know how efficient they run. And then we see a difference that is counting up during the application. So first of all, of course, we have our own 12 amp high output battery next to some of our competitors from Husqvarna, Steel and Eagle. And I want to focus on the construction today, so you can have a better understanding of the features. The outsiding of the battery, we have a under put like a rubber damper. So if you drop it, this one will also, will also protect it from uh, damaging from the inside. And just as Chris mentioned, the the reason for our, our battery is to uh, to do the have the longer runtime and the more power and the longer durability, and that is due to our uh, our cells that we use, the twenty one seven hundred where all of our competitors use the smaller one, the 18650 cells. So that was a little bit about the insiding of the battery. Now I want to hand you back over to Kim, who's going to show a little bit more about the features that it has. Several images of the batteries that Valentina just showed us, taken during a 40 amp discharge current while discharging the batteries, to show you the thermal management of the batteries. 
to be able to compare our 18 volt batteries of Milwaukee to the 36 volt batteries from Stihl and Husqvarna, we here take our dual battery tools as a reference. Also, 40 amp discharge current is comparable to the application of our dual battery backpack blower going on full speed constantly. We see on the bottom, every two minutes one thermal image is taken. Above, we see the temperature level that the battery has and maybe later, if you look closer, you also see where the most heat inside the battery is built, which is mostly coming from the cells. As we can see, after 10 minutes, both competitive batteries have a temperature of about 70 degrees. At the same time, our high output battery has a temperature of only 38 degrees. This is what Chris mentioned earlier. With our 21700 cells, the batteries run a lot cooler in comparison to the 18650 cells of our competitors. Are a threat to the cells inside of the battery because they can get serious damage and therefore the lifetime of the battery decreases. At this level, the electronics will tell the battery to shut off so it will not get damaged, but therefore you'll not be able to continue with your work. If we have temperatures like outside today, you will even start at a much higher temperature level at the beginning, so you'll reach the over temp even faster. Temperature inside, minus 27.7 at the moment. Which tool should I use? Steel or Sparna? Both. That's not possible. <laughs> well, actually, there's a little screw, right? And maybe we do you a favor. <laughs> Well, which one should I take first? Still. Still. Okay. So first of all, batteries are warm now. Just to show you, tools are working, no problem. But of course, at some time, we have to exchange our batteries, get the really cold batteries out of the truck. So. Let's hand out these cubes. Yeah, that's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, fully charged. So let's do a small competition. Who can cut faster through this wood? Milwaukee versus steel. First try, let's go. Everybody ready? Yeah. Fritz, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. No problem to operate while the competitors are not able to operate at these temperatures. This again shows us the robustness and the capabilities of our batteries to operate in the most extreme environments. Last group for us, so we have the time a little bit more. Um, same thing, straight out of the freezer. Goes in that way. Put it on first, green light is there, nothing is happening. As soon as I take it out, you can press for the charge and you can see that it has the warning light there. Yeah? So till now we've concentrated on our batteries. But what's also a very important topic when we're speaking about batteries is charging them back. So. I'll hand back over to Chris now, who will focus on the charging solutions that we offer, besides Husqvarna and Stier. If we look into charging and everything around it, usually this is one of the key features that is really overlooked by all of our competitors. As soon as we go to Husqvarna for an example, there are four charging solutions. Keep in mind, you can only place, place one battery in there at a the time, so there will only be one battery charged as well. If we go to steel, they have two single charging solutions there, and since two years, they've launched a multi-bay um, charger there. 
You can put in four batteries at once. Keep in mind, it only charges one at the time. This is something we launched in 2018, 2017. Six batteries on there, they will be charged one after each other. Within the walkie, we have more than 10 charging solutions. So whatever fits your needs or for the applications you're going for, probably you have something. First of all, to charge, to cut all the charging times into half, we have a dual bay fast charger. You place in two batteries and they will be charged at the same time and therefore cutting all the charging times into half. The OPE segment, our biggest competitors are using petrol driven tools as well. To go against that, we have a pack out six batteries as once and it will charge two batteries at the time, at the same time. To give you a small example, we can take these and we can put six of these chargers to our electrical system in our houses without any problems, without tripping the wires. If you put six on there, that counts to 36 batteries you can charge overnight. This is more than enough to last you the whole day of battery power. And therefore you can cut off all the petrol driven tools we know nowadays. These are our solutions we already launched and we already know. But we're here for something new and something exciting, I think. So, I was going to say European first, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, just the first outside of the US. This is a new Malta Bay super fast charger. It's going to charge your batteries faster than ever. And they're going to stay cooler than ever while charging. So as soon as you take them out, you, they are ready to go. This is not all. Kim is going to tell you something else that is coming with it beginning next year. That's right. Charger 2024, we will also launch the next level of batteries from Milwaukee. I mentioned earlier, we have red lithium. Step up, red lithium high output. But in January, we'll launch batteries with the next level. So another step up from our high output batteries. What are the claims of these batteries? Most power, fastest charging, and longest life of all Milwaukee batteries. That's what they'll stand for. To give you an example, the six amp hour battery that will come in January will be able to charge up to 80% on this charger in only 15 minutes. Portable productivity uh, range, which means that it's supporting uh, to convert hand tools into battery driven tools. And here's just a small display of what we have in the, in the range. And the things that are good to know about here is that the whole M12 range is done with the, the reasoning to be a very compact sizing, with, the <clears throat> with, the, with, with it being easier to transport it when used. And also you can use it for example maintenance for doing any of your own OPE tools. So we have a few, like if you see the small inflator here, it's easy to have in your car to take it with you to inflate any of your wheels. Or we have a ratchet here, which also, which is also uh, easier to use if it has to go fast, then you have to do something uh, with your own other tools. The other thing I want to highlight here is of course the batteries. We have our 12 M12 high output battery. This one has a feature of being chemical resistant. So when it comes in contact with any chemical oils, the housing of it will protect the inside of this battery. Yes, and as Chris mentioned, we have more than 110 solutions in this range, so there's plenty to choose in between. And finally, the M18 range. And now with the, with the M18 battery that we have talked so much about, you can use that for all of the tools in the M18 range. And here we have an even wider range with more than 255 solutions.
And the M18 uh, range is all about the power of the tools and the tool to stand up to the uh, most difficult and toughest condition on the, the job site. 